So if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell ring. Yeah, kung ano man yun. <laughs> the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload my videos. So for today's video, ang pag-uusapan ko is the world of STEM. So because nga nagkaroon ng K-12, nadagdagan ng grade 11 and grade 12 ang high school years, nagkaroon ng divisions for the whole batch. So the divisions are called strands. So there's STEM, ADM, HUMES, ADT, and SPT. Sa university ko, lima lang. Sa UST, there's Health Allied. So yeah, so sobrang halata naman kung ano yung strand ko because it's in the title of the video. My strand is STEM, which means science, technology, engineering, I'm not sure. Bakit di ko alam? Ulit, ulit. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So in this video, we're gonna debunk stereotypes. We're gonna discuss kung ano yung mga may hear up na subjects sa STEM, and also yung mga tips and advices ko para sa mga aspiring STEM students or yung mga na sa STEM strand na ngayon. Also for mga tao na hindi na pasok ng STEM pero gusto ng STEM. I think this vid, eh, and I think this video will also be beneficial for the. People who didn't take up senior high para alam nila kung ano nangyayari sa atin. Para gets nila na may mga ganito pala tayo, na may mga strands pala tayo, na dinidivide pala tayo according to our chosen field, to our chosen strand. Kasi maraming mga parents na hindi alam kung ano nga ba nangyayari sa senior high. If you're interested in watching this video and knowing about the world of STEM, please continue watching. So since obvious naman sa definition ng STEM, kung ano yung mga career opportunities if you take up STEM, ito yung mga, yung mga common is mga doctor, engineer, IT, game developer, and yung mga mat mathematician, of course, yun yung mga pwede mong i-pursue after taking up STEM. Now we're gonna debunk stereotypes. Alam na alam natin yan, especially yung mga tao na, na, na naka-experience na ng senior high, maraming mga stereotypes pagdating sa STEM. First is, mga matatalino and mga nerd ang mga nasa STEM. And to be honest, I don't think that this stereotype is true kasi, kasi it doesn't mean naman na pag nagbabasa kami ng physics textbooks, chemistry, bio, earth side textbooks, and all that jazz, it doesn't mean na matalino na kami. Kasi ano pinagkaiba nito sa mga humes na nagbabasa all about humanities, about politics. It's all about the focus of the strand. So since science and math nga ang focus ng strand ko, dun kami nagpo-focus. And so yung mga ibang strand, they focus on other stuff. Because that's their forte, that's their strength. So mga matatalino and mga nerd na nasa STEM, Big no. Second stereotype is STEM is the hardest strand. A lot of people, especially mga nasa junior high, they think na they want to go to STEM just because they want to prove themselves na they're smart because it's the hardest strand nga. Okay, this is based on real experience kasi ang dami kong naririnig na gusto mag STEM just because it's hard. Pero for me, yun nga. It's talagang based on your strengths and weaknesses. For me, I think that I'm really I really belong to STEM kasi, kasi, <laughs> yun yung mga strengths ko. And I don't think na I can fit in pag nag-aral ako about, about business sa ABM or nagbasa ako ng nagbasa sa Humes. I don't think na makakaya ko. And for the other strands, nahirapan din sila sa STEM because it's not their forte nga. So, STEM is the hardest strand. It's also a big thing, no. So now, let's discuss the major subjects or the subjects that you need to look out for when you're in the strand STEM. So first is Earth Science. So basically, and dito yung mga what consists of the Earth. So yung atmosphere, the Earth itself, the land, water, the stars, the clouds, the sky. And I think that this is a very hard subject because there is so much memorization. Next is Chemistry 1 and Chemistry 2. So basically, you take these on separate terms because Chemistry 1 is more on memorization and Chemistry 2 is more on solving. So maraming mga math na involved dito. Next is Botany. Botany is a science that basically focuses on plants. We're gonna talk about the roots, stem, leaves, fruits, and flowers of plants. So, so medyo mahirap din to because there's so much memorization and you need to really understand the concepts para ma-appreciate mo. Next science is zoology. This is the study of animals. So kasama na rin tayo dito, tayo mga humans. Nandito yung mga dissection ng frog, ng live frog and preserved frog. Pag-uusapan nyo rin yung lahat ng systems of the human body. 
all those aspiring doctors out there, I think you're, you're gonna enjoy this kasi basically, ito yung basics ng pagdadoktor. Basically, ito yung basics ng pagdadoktor. So many basics. <laughs> Next subjects that you need to look out for is Physics 1 and Physics 2. So, Physics 1 is all about mechanics while Physics 2 is about yung mga heat, electricity, mag magnetism, and optics. And this is very, very different from your physics ng junior high because senior high physics, they involve derivatives. So you really need to watch out for this. It's not just basic solving everything. You need to really understand. So let's move on to yung mga math naman, math subjects. So first math subject that you're gonna encounter is general mathematics. Basically, it's almost the same as yung mathematics that you took up nung junior high, pero it's more evolved. And I think major recall nga lang talaga to ng previous topics mo. Next, mathematics is pre-calculus 1 and pre-calculus 2. Sa ibang schools, isang pre-calculus lang. Pero sa school ko, pabibo kasi sila, may pre-calculus 1 and pre-calculus 2. So pre-calculus 1 is about geometry and pre-calculus 2 is about trigonometry. Yung pre-cal is more on shapes and pre-cal 2 is more on the sine, cosine, and tangent. Next math subject that you need to look out for is basic calculus. Woo! I cannot. <laughs> Ito yung pinakahirap na hirap akong math subject kasi andito yung mga limits, yung mga derivatives. I don't understand this subject, pero kakayanin naman. <laughs> Kinaya ko, so I think nakakayanin yung lahat. Next math subject that you need to look out for is statistics and probability. Itong subject na to, magagamit mo talaga, especially sa mga research. Pero, woo, ang hirap kasi ang daming formula na need in memorize. May mga ibang schools na okay lang magkaroon ng formula, formula kodigo, tutuness. So that's it for the subjects that you need to look out for. Yun yung mga super, super duper major subjects. So now we're gonna go to the tips and advices that I want to give to those who are in STEM or to those who want to take up STEM. First, it's okay na hindi pa kayo sure sa kung anong career or kung anong college course ang gusto niyong i-pursue because STEM gives you a really, really wide range of choices. STEM, the science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and sa lahat ng fields na yun, sobrang dami mong pagtitilian if you want to pursue a STEM-related course, of course. So I think that it's a safe strand to go to, especially if you're interested in this field, pero hindi ka pa talaga sure specifically kung anong course ang gusto mo. Second, it's okay if hindi mo forte yung ibang subjects because what's important is that you pay attention more to those subjects so that you can be better. To be honest, me, forte ko talaga is science and mathematics. So parang hirap ako pag technology related. So yung mga subjects na empowerment technologies, hirap na hirap ako mag-program, mag-code. And wala, wala talaga po mapasok. Pero if you have the perseverance to really learn about this course, okay lang as in maagapan mo talaga siya. And before you know it, the term is done and goodbye to that subject. Third advice is get ready na magsabay-sabay ang mga major subjects. So sa school na pinupuntahan ko, nung term 1, nagsabay ang Earth Science and General Mathematics. Term 2, nagsabay ang Pre-Calculus 1 and 2. Third term, nagsabay ang Chem 1 and Basic Calculus. Term 4, nagsabay ang Physics 1 and Chem 2. Term 5, nagsabay ang Bio 1 and Physics 2. And ngayon last term, mag-isa na lang naman ang Zoology. So yes, ang hihirap na mga major subjects na to, but if you stay focused and and if you really manage your time well and prioritize things properly, you'll get through with all these major subjects. Fourth is to those who took up STEM but don't want to pursue a college course na related to STEM. It's okay for me, go where your heart leads you. Hindi naman yan sayang because you learned a lot from your senior high years, you learned a lot from STEM, so okay lang yan. I think my advantage pa rin naman na marami kang alam about STEM sa ibang related na course, okay? And lastly, for those who plan on pursuing a STEM-related course, really... My airplane. There's a helicopter. <laughs> so for those who plan on taking a STEM-related college course, for me, Really, really take the subject seriously kasi makakatulong talaga to in your college years. So that's it for this video. I hope mas marami kayong natutunan all about the strand STEM. And to those people na wala pa sa senior high, I hope na-inspire kayo or na-enlighten kayo kung ano yung gusto nyong, kung ano yung gusto nyong strand in the future. 
and sana hindi ko kayo natakot to take up STEM if ever you guys want to take up STEM. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and also follow me on all my social media accounts. Always remember to live with a little bit more of hope and love in our lives every day. Hello, alis na ako.